Hello everyone. In last video, we talked about the different join types: Azure AD join, Azure AD registered, and hybrid Azure AD joined. Uh, at the very last, uh, I touched on the topic of compliance. If a device is non-compliant, uh, we can actually block access from that device to our corporate data. In this case, we will have a small demo of that. So this Win10 AAD Reg, which is Azure AG registered device, uh, it is showing non-compliant. So we will block the access of our corporate data on this device. So first of all, let's see whether we are able to access the data from it or not. So this is my Windows 10 machine. I'm going to try to access my email on this. This is Azure AD registered by my account. Let me try accessing my email. So I am able to access my email. I registered this device with the, my Anubhav Sharma at anubhavinit.co.in account. So the single sign-on works and I am able to access the email. So let's go back to our Intune portal and see how we had made this device non-compliant. So this is the compliance policy which I have set on this device with only one setting for testing purpose which requires Windows Firewall to be on and if it is not on it will mark the device as non-compliant and I have assigned this to the AD group which my computer is part of and if we go back to the computer and check under control panel Windows Firewall status it is off so that's why it is marking it as non-compliant but we are able to access the mail so we have to block that access for that I have created a conditional access policy which is block non-compliance devices this I have applied to the user account which is part of this group the user account which I used to register that particular device and the user account for which email I am accessing on that one and I have applied it to all cloud apps and the condition which I have mentioned here is that uh, it should be a Windows device so user accessing any cloud app on a Windows device will be granted access once the device is marked as compliant we have other uh, granting rules as well which we haven't selected so we are just worried about marking it as compliant so currently this policy is off so I will turn it on now now the policy is on and now if I access the email on my device it should not work so let's test that out here we are on the uh, Windows 10 machine so let's see if we are able to access the email or not no uh, so the conditional access has blocked our access because our device is non-compliant so now I would enable the Windows firewall and make my device compliant and then see whether my access works or not hopefully it should work because the device would be compliant for the policy okay now I'm going to sync it sync the policy So now I have synced the policy and it's going to take some time. So I'm going to pause the video now. It's been some time I have synced the policy. So let me try opening email on the Windows 10 device as Windows Firewall is enabled. So it should be compliant. Yep, it's uh, working now. So this goes to show us that once we have the device mark as compliant only then we can allow the device to access our data 
and there can be various uh, rules which we can apply for a device to be compliant various security policies which it should meet before it becomes compliant and then only it can access our data in conditional access policy we specified the device to access our data only when it is compliant but we have other options also like if the device is not compliant we can have it require multi-factor authentication or we can have it require multi-factor authentication as well as it has to be compliant so we can require all the selected controls and it has to meet both the conditions so this is just a short overview of how the compliance and conditional access works and how we can protect our, our company data I hope you liked my video and see you soon in my next video.